So for step 21, we're going to put together all the pieces that we need so that we can install the servo. So you can see that there are these two um, rectangular brackets that are going to fit onto the servo because they are going to be used to attach it to the chassis uh, with these screws here in the washers. And then on the switch itself, we've got a few things to put on it in order to install the chassis as well. Now, I am using a Tamiya uh, speed controller. So this may vary because if you're using a hobby wing, a lot of the kits do come with hobby wing. In fact, this one came with a hobby wing, but I've chosen to install a Tamiya speed controller. But if it's a hobby wing speed controller that your kit came with, this won't necessarily work. You may need to come up with a different placement for the switch because the hobby wing uh, speed controller switch is much smaller than this and this is specifically designed for Tamiya kits uh, the screws are in exactly the right place to fit into the parts that come off the parts tree so you may have to sort of muddle about and figure out another place but here are the other things that we've got our screws and washers so we're ready to go so I'll just set this up and we'll install the pieces so first let's attach those rectangular pieces to this so you can see the way this is going to be set up. We're going to need to grab one of the B8 screws, one of the B12 washers, and then that's going to fit onto the top hole and go into this part right here. So we just need to screw that in. And I haven't done it all the way. Uh, maybe I'll do it a little bit more, but I tend to leave things slack until we know that it's fitting properly. But you can see that the hole down there is going to be used to screw in another screw from the bottom of the chassis to secure this to the chassis. So we'll grab the other one. And you know, the other thing to make note of, you can see the D5 and D6, they both have um, this is indented on one side and this is flat because this is showing that that's flat because normally Tamiya uh, instruction manuals will show whether it's that side or the other I'm using the flat side to go into this so again we're going to grab our screw our washer put that through and go through into the flat side of that piece And again, I don't know exactly where it's going to be. Um, so I'm just leaving things a little slack just to give it a bit of breathing room. And then we'll secure it down once we've got a little closer and I know that it's okay to do so. So that's the first step done. Now the next part is this switch. Now with the Tamiya ones, you need to unscrew the on off plate. I'll use the other screwdriver here because the on-off plate that's on there is not getting used. It's very rare. In fact, I don't know if I've seen a, a Tamiya kit where you leave the stock one on because they always want you to take it off so you can add on other pieces to fit this into depending on the kit that you've got because they all fit differently so take that off there we go and you can see that it still says on right there so it doesn't matter that uh, 
you've taken that plate off because you can still see but you can see the wire is coming out of this side so we're going to take this piece right here and you can see that it's notched on the front on the top see how this side is flat this side has a notch to it so we want that side to go down then we've got the dust cover and the dust cover is just going to fit right over top of it then you've got the bigger plate and I don't think in this case it matters which way you put it on the bigger plate is going to sit over top and then we're going to grab our little screws our washer and then we're going to fit this all the way down so it's going to go through 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 and onto in fact if i take that off just for a second so i can see we can then attach it to that spot So same thing again, we'll grab our smaller screw, we'll grab our washer, put that through. So there we go. That is the finished switch plate. So you can see that that's going to actually go into from the bottom down there. So that's going to sit inside there just like that and be attached from the inside. So it's all recessed. So that part is done. So there's quite a few little pieces that have to go on top of each other with that one. It's kind of an interesting design, but that is finished. So 21 is complete. So now we can move on to step 22, which is working on attaching the steering rods. Mm -hmm. 